Uh, who's the one? Who's, oh, well, it's obviously just Facebook and Instagram, right? Yeah. Dang it, Olivia. Is she coming <laughs> in today? Yeah, I think at 11. Oh. Andy Murdoch is watching. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Derek. Roger. Those look good, Derek said. Mm. Morning to you, Donovan Hardy. Thank you just a second, Andy. How many people we got on there, Matt? Climbing on 90. All right, cool. We can go ahead and start. All right, everybody. It is Black Sunday Friday. Uh, we are here at Rectech Grill's Worldwide Headquarters in Augusta, Georgia. It is a super busy day. There are all kinds of noises and sounds uh, going about. Everybody just wanted to come in and make noise while we were doing Fun Day Friday, so that's good. That's fun. Um, we wanted to say uh, Happy Thanksgiving and that we are very thankful for everybody who posted their turkeys, uh, dressings, sides, uh, and vegetables on their grills yesterday. Um, I went through and I was definitely uh, thankful uh, for everybody posting all of that and it just gives you a sense of pride when you look on the internet and see when you scroll through your feed and nothing but rec texts are on your feed. That was uh, pretty prideful um, on my part for sure. Uh, we wanted to send a shout out to a couple of our uh, family members. Uh, El Gordo, we saw you out there um, on Instagram. Your turkeys look beautiful, sir. Uh, we also wanted to send a shout out to Miss Barry Vera. Thank you uh, once again for allowing us to be on your show. Uh, it was an honor and a, a uh, utmost pleasure. Um, today uh, we are doing a rib roast this is not a prime rib roast um, a lot of folks you know see these and they're like oh that's a prime rib well this is not prime grade this is just choice grade uh, so it is just a rib roast uh, essentially it was a, uh, a whole ribeye cut uh, and I had the butcher just cut it in half uh, that way we can kind of work with it uh, what we're gonna do today how we're gonna cook this is we're gonna do the uh, reverse sear method we are going to cook it on the bullseye on high, which is you know between 500 and 550 degrees uh, for about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna get a good sear on the outside and then we're gonna transfer it to our RT680, which is sitting at about 275. Uh, we're using the Ultimate Blend Pellet, which is a mixture of red oak, white oak, and hickory. Uh, that's gonna get us hotter faster, but it's also gonna give us a really consistent cook. That's, all, that's what we're always looking for, consistency when you cook. We don't want any surprises. Again, um, we wanted a consistent cook, so what did I do before I even turned the grills on? I cleaned out my fire pot of both grills, uh, the bullseye and the 680, and then I changed my foil on the 680, so it's got brand new foil on it. Uh, we also scraped uh, any grease or anything uh, that was um, on the grates as well. So we went ahead and we cleaned up the grill so we know that we're gonna have a good consistent cook, okay? Um, th these guys are gonna be super, super simple, okay? Do not overthink it. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on them and we're gonna cover them in Ben's heifer dust, one of my personal favorites. Um, pretty much salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, granulated onion, and parsley. It's a super good, super awesome uh, mixture for beef. So we're gonna douse these bad boys in olive oil, uh, liberally season them, season them with Ben's heifer dust, and then we're gonna insert a probe in here. We're gonna shoot for an internal of about 130, 135, okay? Uh, once we reach that, we're gonna pull them off of the RT680, and we're gonna let them rest, uh, and then we'll slice them up for everybody, okay? Um, so, uh, do we have any questions or anything, Matt? I'm sure there's a Black Friday question. David, no, we are not having any Black Friday sales. Uh, we are factory direct. Every day, our grills are on sale. Um, we want to keep our prices consistent throughout the year. Uh, so every day is a good day to buy. So no, there are no Black Friday specials, no New Year's specials, no Christmas specials, uh, nothing like that. Reverse searing, what comes first? Smoke uh, we're going to sear them first, and then we're going to slow cook. We're going to sear them at about 500, 550 on the bullseye. And then once again, we're going to transfer it over to the 680 after we get a good sear on the outside. Uh, and the 680 is sitting at about 275. That's right, Diamond Dave. David Muscat just wanted to point out to everybody that his mini vents have shipped. Cool. Yeah, we've got those mini vents back in stock. 
Uh, so if you guys are looking for those mini all-weather vents, uh, they are back in stock. Uh, so check out rectechgrills.com and that is the only way you can get those. Those are stainless steel. Um, you know, they look like a little uh, exhaust pipe coming out the back of your uh, mini vent holes. Uh, so they are awesome accessory. They look really cool, uh, but they're very functional as well. You know, no, uh, no more rain dripping in, no more snow coming in or anything like that. So, Do you have to foil the bullseye? Absolutely not. There is absolutely no reason to foil the bullseye. The bullseye does not have a drip pan. It, is just, it only has one plate in between the meat and the heat, and that's the, the deflector plate. Any grease that does drip down on there is just going to burn off. And they are saying that what we are going to do is a regular sear or a forward sear. Yeah, sounds good. We're going to sear it first and then we're going to smoke it. Okay? Cool. All right, so we're going to douse this bad boy with some olive oil. And then we're going to sear these you know, fat side up. And you guys are for sure right. We were talking about reverse searing and searing this morning, so it kind of got me a little confused. We were debating on reverse searing these bad boys. Is the new heifer dust similar to the old Ron's? No. It is much, much better. It looks very similar, uh, but it is much, much better for sure. Jesse Gutierrez, maybe? What's up, Jesse? Loves your beard. <laughs> are you riding in the big truck today, Jesse, with the dogs? Or are you at home? Did you get Thanksgiving off? I saw your turkey yesterday. Or did y'all even cook a turkey? Did y'all cook a pork butt for Thanksgiving? I think I saw. Steve just ordered two mini vents. Cool. Thanks for your support, Steve. And where can Daniel get these rubs? Rectechgrills.com. Any and everything that we have on this show, Facebook, live, anything, can all be found on our website. That is the only place that you can get them. And we are liberally seasoning this. Give it a good crust. Can you sear them on the 680 and then drop it down if you don't have Absolutely. the bullseye? Yeah, if you've got uh, sear, uh, the searing kit, we would recommend you know, putting it on the flat side. That way you get a good flat, consistent sear. Cool. And can you use the mini cover if you have the mini vents? Yeah, he said. Lisa. Absolutely, guys. You can definitely use the cover if you have the mini vents. Yeah, I mean, I'll be ready to check it out. Okay, we're ready. And like I said, we've got the bullseye outside. Uh, it's sitting on high at uh, you know somewhere between 500 and 550 degrees. Again, we're gonna you know 
get a good sear on the outside of these bad boys and then we're going to transfer them over to the RT680 uh, and it's sitting at about 275. We're going to put a probe in here. We're going to try to get it as close to center as possible with these probes and then we're just going to monitor our temperature. Um, I am not sure on the time on these bad boys uh, so just stay tuned, okay? Uh, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. We'll be putting these on the bullseye, okay guys? Thank y'all so much. What's up, Jeremy? What you cooking, Jeff asked. We are doing a rib roast today. We're going to sear it first on the bullseye at about 500, 550 degrees. Let it sit in there about 5 to 10 minutes. Then we're going to transfer it over to that RT680 and it's sitting at about 275. We're going to let it finish off there. Uh, we're cooking it to an internal of 130, 135 degrees. How many people got? A little over 100. All right, cool. Go ahead. Carefully, I'm going to transfer them over to the RT680, okay? So we're sitting at about 500, in between 5 and 550. these bad boys sit in there, get a good sear on them, get a good uh, crispy outside and sear in those juices. And then we're going to carefully, because they're going to be very, very hot, transfer them over to the RT680. Uh, and it's running our ultimate boil pellet, which is a mixture of red oak, white oak, and hickory. Those are the most dense pellet, so that's helping this bullseye get up to those super high temperatures, okay? You got any questions or anything there? Uh -oh. Rachel? People saying they want a bullseye. Good, 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 good. A lot Go of rec They, uh, they, the bullseye is three ninety nine, uh, and that's free shipping. And if we are shipping them uh, out of the state of Georgia into any other state besides Georgia, it is free tax, uh, tax free. Um, so that's three ninety nine walking out the door. Will you turn it on its side to sear as well? Yeah, yeah, I probably would. Um, but we're actually gonna, you know, in about five minutes see. Um, see if the bullseye actually did that for us. I'm thinking it will, uh, but yeah, we'll probably turn them on uh, their sides as well, try to get a little bit better of a sear, try to cook them right. A lot of rec tech employees on their day off watching right hey, now. Hey, thanks guys. Yeah, Robbie, what's up, Greg? Y'all are missing what's up, out. Adam? Greg, Chef Greg? Greg, give me a call in about five to 10 minutes. I wanna talk uh, uh, raw ham with you. Uh, I haven't. Uh, I just got that raw ham and I want to see, I want to get your advice on it so we can do it properly. And Justin here. Who? Justin. Oh. Hey Justin. I hope your new job's going great. Alright guys. Uh, like I said, we'll probably in about five minutes take a look at them, see how they're looking. Uh, but we'll be back when they're ready to go back on the 680, okay? Thank you so much. We'll see you in about 10, 10 minutes, okay? Bye. You're good. Let me know when we're ready. Go. All right, guys, we're back. We want to uh, go ahead and take these off. We really don't want too much of that grease to be dripping down and cause a grease fire. But we're, uh, we're seared on the outside, and we're ready to go transfer it on the inside of the RT680. Like I said, be very careful. These bad boys are hot. You see the sear on the outside? Bullseye did an incredible job. Okay, I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna put 
you guys can check out the grill. We do have a little piece of this. Be very careful. You don't want to uh, don't want to grease fires. You don't want to burn your food. Stick this in here. Right in the center. temperature. Like I said, we're shooting for an internal about 130, 135 degrees. Keep an eye on here, them. I'll come out here about every 30 minutes or, uh, or whenever I get a chance to come out here. We'll just check on them. I'll monitor the temperature. I'll just come here and check it out. 732 does a really good job. Me, I do not use the barbecue side of the 732. On the back of it, you have one side that says for food. The other side says for barbecue. I actually have two meat thermometers, meat probes, and I just use both of those. Uh, I allow the grill to monitor itself. So I'm not really worried about the grill, I'm more worried about the meat. So, we have grease in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close the lid and I'm gonna let that bad boy burn off all that grease and uh, we'll be ready for our next cook. And then uh, for the, uh, make sure it's on high so we can burn off that grease. When we go to cut it off, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the dial all the way to off. That's going to stop the auger from spinning and dumping any pellets into the fire pot. And I'm going to, go, I'm going to leave the machine on for about 5 to 10 minutes until it gets under 100 degrees. And we know it gets under 100 degrees from our dome thermometer. That's a really good tool uh, on this grill to use to monitor your temperature. But again, when we go to cut it down and, and go into our cool down cycle, I'm going to turn the dial all the way off which is going to turn off our auger and I'm going to uh, keep the power button on which keeps the fan blowing which is going to blow out our fire and blow out a little bit of ash um, but having the fan continue to run is what actually makes that fire go out since we're not feeding any more fuel to it uh, the fan is just going to keep that fire going until all of that wood is burned up so right now we're just going to let it burn off for about 20 30 minutes um, and then I'll come back and just turn the dial off, walk away, come back in about 10 minutes, and then turn the whole machine off, okay? Um, but like I said, we're going to come back about every 30 minutes just to check on these. Um, and I'm not going to open the lid. Um, I'm not going to look at them. I'm just going to look at our uh, Maverick 732, okay? Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in about a couple, two to three hours when these bad boys are done, okay? Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. Enjoy your Black Fun Day Friday. Black Friday. Two, one. Ray Carnes checking in. Hey Ray Ray, sorry about yesterday. Woo. Whew, them boys. Them boys. Long way away from being men, I can tell you. Oh, hey now, zing, 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 I zing. Mean. That was a little... Matt said that right, not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. We are about to pull these uh, rib roasts. And once again, they were not prime rib roasts. Um, remember, the prime is a grade of meat. These are choice rib roasts, uh, but they are just as amazing and as beautiful. Uh, gonna be as tasty, believe me. We dusted them with Ben's Heifer Dust, one of our new seasonings, available at rectechgrills.com. Remember, we uh, left them on the bullseye for about seven and a half to about 10 minutes uh, on high. We got a good sear on all sides, and yes, I did, <clears throat> after about five minutes, you know, rotate sides. 
and after about two minutes rotate another side that way we got a good crust and a sear uh, on all sides of the meat <clears throat> it was a whole rib roast and I had the butcher cut it in half for me um, these took about just about three hours at 275 um, after we pulled them off of the bullseye they were about an internal of about 40 45 degrees so that gives you some kind of idea if you know if you're pulling them off um, but like I said at 275 these took about three hours so let's go check them out we're gonna use our bullpen to temp them uh, our Mavericks ET732 is saying that they're about 130 135 Right where we want it. All right, ladies and gents, this is uh, the crazy part. Be careful because your probes are going to be really hot. You should probably use a spatula to be, you know, but I'm a grilling professional. Grown man. And I'm, and I'm a grown man. I have double layer of uh, gloves, so I'm good to go. Ooh. I talk, oh, Lord. Jesus, if, they, if you could smell this stuff, guys, you would be salivating out your mouth. You'd be drooling all over the place. And I'm going to go slow so Rachel, our photographer, can get some photos. Because this is just the perfect time to get photos for show. But now we're going to go into the rest stage of our cook. It is very important to let these rest. And they're gonna to continue to cook just a little bit more. They'll probably creep up to an internal of 140 degrees. And you see I got a little break right there. But that's all right. Because why? Because we're living the Rectech lifestyle and we can adjust on the fly. That's why. But we're gonna let this, I don't know, rest about 15 to 20 minutes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them off of the bone and then we're gonna slice them up. Everybody's kind of already nibbled uh, on all of their uh, Thanksgiving leftovers for the day. Um, and we have a lot of customers coming in and out of the door. Uh, so we'll probably slice them up kind of thin uh, and let everybody enjoy them. Once again, the way we cook these, but we'll be back live, you know, me showing y'all uh, what they look like on the inside. But uh, just to read, uh, oh my God. Cap. Just to review, recap on this uh, cook. We cooked them on the bullseye, on high. The bullseye was at about 540, 550 degrees. We cooked them in there for about 10 minutes to get a good sear on the outside. After we got a good sear on the outside, we transferred them over to the RT680. It was set at 275, and they, there, they then sat in there for about three hours, got to an internal of 135. Uh, like I said, we're wrapping them right now. We're gonna let them rest so I can actually handle them when I cut them. Um, and then we'll be back to show you all how juicy and how delicious they are. Um, like I said, be back in about 30 minutes. So let's call it 315. We'll come back live at about 315 Eastern Standard. And uh, we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Shop enough, Chef Greg, in here. So. All right, everybody, we're back. We let these sit and rest about 20, 30 minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to cut the bones out, and then we're going to uh, slice it just like a steak. Um, so I guess let's get after it. Ooh, 
it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. I'll cut this other bone while y'all are staring at that. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And then I'm saving these two. We'll probably scrape all the meat off of these as well. We'll see you at the Academy, uh, Susanna. We love the ladies that are coming to the Academy, for sure. All right. So, I want to get some juicy shot. Some juices coming out of that mofo. Oh, yes. Okay. Mommy, 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 moment of truth. And I am going to get some of that right there. Mm. Hey, are you like steak? We use Ben's heifer dust on these uh, rib roasts. And again, they were not prime rib roasts. They were just regular rib roasts. God, but they are so good. I am very proud of these. And again, we did not reverse sear these. Sorry for the confusion earlier, guys. We, were just, we have been talking reverse sear here at the office all morning. And I thought that was our plan. But like any kind of plan, got derailed. And uh, like any kind of rec tech family member, you think on the fly. And you live life to the fullest. So we got a, we got a few people here in the showroom. None of these people I know, and none of them are gonna lie about how it tastes. So let me see if I can get somebody random to give me like a real reaction to this and I don't I haven't met any of these people yet I'm sure when the cameras go off I'm gonna introduce myself and get to know them plus everybody that works here is not really a good judge because they're gonna lie to me regardless whether it tastes bad or not There's some kids in here too, and you know they won't lie. So let's see. Uh, I just don't want people to have to get their hands dirty. All right, come on, everybody. Whoa. Sir, would you like some rib roast? I would. Sir, thanks, sir. Appreciate it. And this is a real reaction. I want some Jody, please. Go ahead. You want to take some? I have some Jody. Come here. That's good. Okay. And then this is a, a kid's reaction, so we're going to get a real reaction. She's not going to lie to us. Would you like some? Go ahead. Please taste it and tell me the truth whether or not you like it, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the truth, too. You'll lie to me no matter how bad it tastes. Well, is it good? good? Oh, <laughs> seal of approval. Yeah, if that doesn't make your heart happy, I don't know what does. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. We got one more left. We good? I see another. Guys, y'all like to try some rib ribs? Yeah. Man? Yeah, he just did that on mm -hmm. Is it good? Okay, yeah, good. Perfect. That's all I need. Yes, sir. Thank you. George Ann. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Hey, how's it going, Matt? What you doing? Dale, those were seared on the bullseye. And then slow cooked on the RT680. We cooked it at 275, and it took about three hours to reach an internal of 135. We let it rest about 30, more, 30 minutes, and then I'm cutting into it now. So... 
and we got real reactions from real people that I haven't met yet. So they did not lie to us. And this was not a prime rib. This was a regular rib roast. So if you can't find that prime rib, you know, of course prime rib is gonna be, you know, what you're looking for. But if you can't find it, you heard it here first that regular rib roasts taste delicious. You got any other questions or anything? Anybody? Are the barbecue sauces still available? The barbecue sauces are not available anymore. We got rid of those. We just had a lot of issues uh, with getting them to you guys. So instead of you know having to resend them out, UPS, FedEx, yada yada yada, you can still pick them up locally. But we no longer offer the barbecue sauces to be shipped. We do apologize. That, unfortunately, that's just the nature of the beast. God almighty! Can you sear on the 680? Gosh darn right you can. All you have to do is use your searing kit. Or, um, I like to use a cast iron skillet. Uh, you can put your cast iron in there. Just make sure it preheats with your grill. Um, just turn it. Turn it. Just make sure it preheats with your grill and make sure that you leave it in there for at least 30 minutes on 500 or full. And make sure, you know, you want it to get hot, hot, hot. So, but um, that was Black Sunday Friday. If you guys have any questions, please just call us here at the office, 855-696-0890. And remember, as always, ask for Connor. Um, should we give something? Matt, should we give away something? Yeah, man. All right, we're going to give away something. We're going to mail a piece of the rib roast. We're actually going to give away this rib roast in the mail. No, I'm just joking. I don't think the USDA and or uh, yes. anybody would like that. Mini vents are back in stock. Let's give away a pair of those. Yeah, Ooh. mini vents are back in stock. If you're a, Please only participate if you're a mini owner on this giveaway for both uh, Instagram and Facebook. Um, What should be the question that they should have to answer? That in itself is a good question, Jody. Oh, um, hey. Man. Man. I don't know. Give me something. Give me a nice little piece of sports trivia, Matt. Oh, wow. I love sports, so that'll be easy. Um, sports. Killing me. Leave me hanging. I don't know, man. Oh, man. All right, well, uh, since we're here in Georgia, uh, the first person, I don't even know the answer to this question. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, what was the first year uh, that uh, Georgia became a state? First, first question, what was the first year uh, that Georgia became a state? What does the Google say? And I know the answer. Oh, my mouth is right there. Oh, I heard it in the background again. There it is, James Northard. 17, what? 88. Okay. okay. And now we just told Instagram. So someone on Instagram, just, just type it out. Got it. All right. T-Bone Burnett. Oh, T-Bone. Well, come on in, we'll give them to you. Uh, we ain't going to ship them to you. Come on in. I, we hadn't seen you in a while. So uh, just come on in, we'll give them to you. And then, who was it on Facebook? James Northard. James Northard, give us a call, 855-696-0890. And I'm looking at Connor, and he is with a customer. So you can just call and ask for anybody, no big deal. And then, um, for the non-mini owners, or uh, non-Rec Tech owners, we're gonna give away a uh, spice, a mystery spice bundle. So, um, a mystery spice bundle. We're going to give it away to both Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Tyler, you know any cool trivia or anything? Man. 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 What's your question? Who has the best sales on Black What? Who has the highest sales on Black Friday? Well, that, I don't Come know on. if we can figure that Maybe out. Yet. Oh, it is Georgia, Ooh. Georgia Tech weekend. Yeah. National titles combined have Georgia and Georgia Tech. Uh, 
Stop Vinny. All right, here we go. You know the answer to that, right, Ben? So how many national titles combined as the University of Georgia and Georgia Technical Institute won in football? So how many combined national championships has Georgia Tech and the University of Georgia won in football? We got the answer. We now know the answer. Oh, wait. Just stare at this meat while we figure out uh, the answer real quick. And if we have to go back, we have to go back. No big deal. All right, we're still waiting for that answer. Tyler, you want some of this? Yeah. Yeah, I had to go deep on Google. Oop, I got one. All right, Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones with the correct answer of nine. John Harley. And John Harley with the correct answer of nine. Please just call up here at the office, 855-696-0890. Connor is outside so just anybody just say that uh, you just got the correct answer and uh, we will ship you out a mystery bundle of spices mystery bundle of spices guys once again thank you so much for joining us for fun day friday uh it is humbling once again to scroll through my feed and see absolutely all of the rec tech grill owners um go on the forums and seeing you guys you know support us uh and back us up and uh seeing all of your turkey cooks it means the world to us we are most of all thankful for you so thank you, thank you, thank you. I give you a round of applause. We once again um, are also thankful for our, our men and women in blue and uh, the men and women fighting for our country. We uh, appreciate you guys and we are so, so, so thankful for you because once again, these colors don't run. <laughs> yep, right up here, Matt. Yep, those colors don't run and it's because of you guys. Uh, but thank you so much. Have, uh, be careful this Black Friday. Don't fight over a television. Don't fight over that Elmo, uh, tickle me Elmo. Um, just let, just be the bitter person and let that other person have it. Kill them with kindness. That's what we always say. Uh, but once again, uh, thank you to Ray and Ron, the owners of Rec Tech. We love y'all. We miss y'all. And uh, if you guys need absolutely anything, just call up here in the office and ask away. Any kind of questions, if you have any issues or anything like that, we are always available for you. Uh, it's already cut. It's already cut. Just grab your little bud. <laughs> this is my Sunday buddy, Matt Lane, if y'all haven't met him. He is the, the meat to the meat sweats. Or are you the sweats to the meat sweats? Sweat. Okay. <laughs> AB's meat and, and Matt is sweats. Um, but once again, uh, I'm rambling on. Thank you so much. Everybody is around here is so hungry. So we're going to get to eating. Uh, thank you so much. Join us next week. I am going to be doing a ham from raw. We won't be cooking it. Uh, we will just be uh, brining it uh, and getting it ready to cook. Chef Greg uh, called me and gave me some pointers on it. Uh, so we are going to get a super salty brine uh, and let it soak for about 10 days. Uh, and then we're going to cook it uh, 225 on the 6.8. We might even do it on the bullseye. More than likely we'll do it on the 6.8. Um, we haven't decided what we're doing for next week, but join us next week. Uh, set your notifications because remember, we always give away stuff. Uh, once again, if you're on Facebook and you have an Instagram, like us on Instagram. If you're on Instagram and you have a Facebook, like us on Facebook. Uh, thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend. Be safe and be thankful.